welcome fans of Flip Clocks. Someone once on the forum at flipclockfans.com asked me, what's the smallest flip clock? This is a Copal Model 227. This here is a Copal Mini Mod. And I think they were more interested in what's the smallest mechanism. Well, in my infinite wisdom, thought, well, it's got to be the Copal 225 or the Copal 222 because they look pretty small. And that's what I used to think. That's what I used to tell people. I said, well, it's got to be this one, the Copal Model 222 because it's obviously pretty small. Here's a standard flip clock mechanism compared to the 222 and it looks pretty small to me. So I said, well, hey, let's just check this out and see if we can figure this out. So we measured this up and I measured it to be 2.3 centimeters top to bottom, 2.2 centimeters side to side. If you measure this one, you get 2.3 centimeters and the width is 2.2 centimeters. And I thought, well, what kind of sorcery is this? It looks pretty obvious that this, this one, the 222 is smaller, but it turns out it's the lettering on the standard mechanism is actually goes from top to bottom of the pages, whereas the other one is just smaller. Well, that's strange. But then I remember the, the Sony, the Sony Digimatic. It's a Sony model 6RC-15. And in many clock collecting circles, they call this the speedometer flip clock or the speedometer clock for obvious reasons. It's not really a flip clock. And you, as you can see, it's more of a rolling wheel clock, but they get kind of lumped in with flip clocks sometimes. And I thought, well, that's all right then. Measured it at one centimeter, the opening here. So that's pretty small. But what got me thinking about it was this this is a clock called a haver digit and it was a mechanical digital clock came out about the same time as the leds it's not really a flip clock but sometimes they would call these jump hour because the they would advance in a rapid movement sort of like a flip there were some that were reasonably priced but uh this is a modern one it is from a uh, lange in Zune. It's a Zeitweg. It's from Germany. I probably slaughtered that. But if you, don't worry if you can't pronounce it because uh, you probably can't afford it. $77,000. This is the exploded view of this jump hour clock. Now, most of them back in the day weren't this expensive. But this kind of shows you what's going on. But it's not really a, a flip clock at all. Then one day I was on Etsy. I saw this watch here for $870, and I had to do a double take and look at that, and I thought, well, wait a second now. Some people were calling this a jump hour on different websites. But I, I had to look again, and, and to me, this, what they call a Derby Swiss Sonic, looks every bit like a Rolling Wheel, as much as the Sony did. It uh, came in a couple variants and styles but it was only around from about 74 to 76 and then it just sort of disappeared and from what i understand they were not very reliable in one website based in poland called crazy watches the collector slash repairer of watches said the derby is a brilliant yet stupid invention once you solve one issue another one is right around the corner here you see an advertisement for $59.95, and that's about $285 in today's dollars. So you can see it's being sold next to a flip clock. Well, when this thing is running, you can see the little whirly gig on the right there. Looks like a flip clock to me. Flipped right on over there. This one's called a Jazz Derby. The Jazz were sold in uh, France. In the U.S., it was just Derby Swissonic. Then when you tear it open, you can kind of get a look at the mechanism. See the clock has a bounce wheel, just like a normal uh, watch or clock might. Got a little wheel, seconds wheel that moves. It's going to advance the minute. A flip clock on your wrist. What do you think? When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.